Thank you for the presentations. It's very impressive uh, what, what's happening and, and very ambitious. I had a question for the two, the two mayors. Uh, how do you think you uh, will spend the money uh, that you're receiving from these payments? What types will they be going to individual farmers, more projects, or are these things that you are still determining? So we'll have a bit of translation. That's what's going on if you can't hear it. <笑>直接讲吗直接讲好的这个我们政府的预算首先是按照法律的规定通过人民代表大会通过这是一个程序性的问题第二个呢就是我们在生态文明方面的政府预算是比较具体的一个方面呢就是在生态的具体保护方面它的支付可能是对一些团体一些生产单位第二个方面呢是对民生就对老百姓的直接支付比如我们浙江省设限了这个生态公益林的保护机制它是按照老百姓就是农民的生林的拥有面积来按照每亩的这个单位计算直接补
for most of our natural forests, and uh, we have a certain budget in support of uh, this effort. And the third category of our um, government spending related to environmental protection or ecological protection uh, deals with the people's livelihood. Uh, for uh, our local residents, uh, uh, and also for the ecological forests, uh, for those people who have ownership or tenure over those uh, natural resources, they will be compensated in addition to the compensation, monetary compensation from the state budget, national government budget, we also have uh, local government's budget in support of this effort. And also we take care of uh, poverty alleviation as well. We try to uh, take measures to absorb certain labor from the poverty um, stricken areas. So this is also one of the ways for us to improve the livelihoods of the local communities. Thank you so much for the good question and those very insightful answers. I want to um, invite two more questions, ideally for Ms. Jiang from Shenzhen and for Ouyang. And while you might be coming to or raising your hand for a microphone, I just want to say uh, we have videos that have come from both Fuzhou and Lishui cities. So they will be shown during some of the breaks. And you'll be able to get a better sense of what is going on today in those places that are being developed really as pilots for testing out all the financial mechanisms and policies that we think of and share together as possibly working to achieve the vision. And I also want to say um, tomorrow night, we've heard from Mary and Anne and Henry, there's this wonderful um, evening planned in the Bing Concert Hall. And please come at, at 7.15, the doors will open. In the main concert hall, we'll have pr a performance, both from Fujio and from Lishui City with different performers, um, kind of bringing to us another form of expressing what we're all reaching for in this transformation to an ecological civilization. So that's tomorrow evening. But let's... Um, have a couple of questions, yeah. thank you. Hi, this is a question for the first speaker. I think the work that's going on in China sounds fantastic. Um, my question is, the other big influence of China is the development around the world in other countries, and I'm wondering whether there are any plans to work with the companies that are going out and bring them up to the same level with the things that you're doing in China. Oh yeah, that's a really good question. Actually, when we in other kind of like in painting, I give the presentation at the same question. Actually, recently, you, you know, China will have the one belt, one road, uh, uh, program, some strategy, something like. Actually, our center, our center, and they involve work with Sri Lanka and, uh, how to say, uh, Jiangsu Zai, the country? Cambodia. Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia. And also work with uh, the, in the other Asian country, work together, do the similar thing. Then launch a new project from China to so identify the crucial area for water, for biodiversity, and to say and uh, where we can use for development, we must protect together. So let's go. Let's go out the way. I hope we can do something. There's also, if you look in Nature magazine, maybe three or four weeks ago a write-up on the Digital Silk Road, which is a new initiative through the Chinese Academy of Sciences to develop the kind of data we have on the natural capital platform across the Belt and Road Initiative countries, so about 66 countries, an open data platform on natural capital that kind of in the dream will track change in real time. So there is that, plus many other efforts you can ask Ouyang about that extend across China's footprint. And maybe one final question. Here's a hand up. Oh, oh, I see. Thank you. Please stand in the back. And then we'll have more over the break. Thank you. Um, yeah, good, after, um, good morning. Yeah, my name is Lukman Issa. I'm a graduate research student, Brandenburg University of Technology in Germany. Originally, I'm from Nigeria. I'm from a coastal city called Lagos in Nigeria. I got quite fascinated with what is happening in Chensen municipality, and I'm trying to make a correlation with my own city in Lagos 
we've got problem of rapid urbanization presently, and I would want to know more about the ecological control line, how you've been able to achieve 50% of the land and save it for nature conservation purposes against the development. In our case, that's what the policy makers are trying to struggle with and we've not been able to get the right balance. With this, I hope I can learn from you. Thank you very much. He mostly made a comment. He said he wants to learn from you. He is from Nigeria. Yeah, I know. Thank you for your uh, concern uh, to our city. Uh, uh, let me introduce our work, uh, but I would like to speak in my native language. Please translate. 我刚才已经介绍了因为深圳是一个海岸城市 需要保护的最重要的部分，也就是我们刚才讲到的生态红线，呃，把它放在一起来，呃，做一个呃统一的考虑。呃，这是一个空间上的一个保护的一个工作。那么，呃，刚才已经介绍了，我们现在想做的一
uh, lessons we need to draw from those uh, bad examples. In, ter in terms of good examples and improvement, what kind of experience we can distill from uh, those good cases. And another uh, aspect of our work is to establish comprehensive and uh, um, all inconclusive uh, monitoring system. And of course, this will require uh, scientific based, uh, science based approaches as well. We need to understand better what metrics will work and uh, what metrics need to be applied to those uh, monitoring uh, projects and work and what kind of tools will be at our disposal. Um, and uh, uh, then this is what motivated us to partner with uh, Professor Ouyang's team and Professor Daly's team 